Today, I'll be showing you how to paint an RC body using multiple colors of Pactra paints. Hey guys, Rich here from the RCnetwork.com and today I'll be showing you how to paint up your RC body using different colors of paint. So what I mean by that is basically we're going to be painting up this Proline body right here. I have the 2017 Ford Raptor body. Very cool body. This is actually gonna be going on my new Techno MT410 monster truck. So with that, I wanted to paint up this body using lots of different colors. And in the background, you're seeing some metallic blue, some sprint white, and also some outlaw black. And we're gonna be painting up different colors on this RC body. So before we start, I went ahead and pre-trimmed my body washed the body, and also threw on some window masks right here from the manufacturer to go ahead and give that scale look to the body. Planning your paint job is always key when painting an RC body. Now with this particular body here, I do wanna make some metallic blue on the front end. I'm gonna throw in like a white stripe going here, kind of diagonally across the side of the vehicle. And then the remaining portion is going to be black. So wanted to kind of give it a contrast color between the dark blue and the black with that nice kind of sprint white stripe. And with that, we do wanna make note of what colors to kind of paint first. Now, we never wanna paint a light color first on the vehicle because then each color after that can end up darkening up that lighter color. So with the Sprint White, that'll be the last thing that we do on the body. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and spray the metallic blue on first because that's kind of like an iridescent color. It needs that black backer on there to go ahead and give the darkness of the blue. So we're gonna spray the metallic blue first, We'll put black over the entire body and we'll leave a masking stripe right here for the white stripe and that'll be painted in the very end. So for the white stripe, that's what we're gonna start off with first. As far as the masking portion, went ahead and cut a strip of this tester's masking tape and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it where I want it on the body. Now with that, you wanna try and keep both of them somewhat uniform, but once again, you're not gonna be able to see both sides of the vehicle at the same time, so you can kinda of take your time and make that stripe look really nice. So this site is complete, went ahead and went from the very bottom down here all the way up to the very top of the kind of like the bed right there. So this part's gonna be the metallic blue and this is going to be the black. So just need to go ahead and complete the other side now. All right, so both stripes are on now. So that's gonna be the first mask that we do for the white stripe. You can see, kind of see that they're not perfect and that's okay because you're not gonna see both sides of the vehicle at the same time. Now it's time to start on masking off the back section, because like I said, we're gonna paint that blue side first. So for this portion of the masking, I just use this blue painter's tape. Uh, you can pick it up at your local hardware store, and it is super thin, and you can actually use this as a pretty good line, but the tester's masking tape actually makes a very crisp line between colors. So all of the masking is now on the rear of the truck and I went ahead and double checked all of the seams to make sure that I have full adhesion to the Lexan body just so that no paint will go on the underside of the tape and kind of bleed through the lines. Now I did note that I, I put a couple of pieces of tape up here on the roof and on the hood and that was just a little imperfection in the overcoat uh, sheet that's on the vehicle. Just don't want any overspray to get into that section. So, well guys, let's go ahead and uh, take it outside and let's get the first coat on this 
F-150 Raptor. As always, before you start painting, make sure that you're in an outdoor environment. You wanna have the proper ventilation, and if you need a dust mask, please do so. We went ahead and pre-shook our can of the metallic blue, and we're gonna go ahead and start spraying that on. Now, the first coat, we definitely wanna do a lighter coat. Uh, we wanna get a good adhesion to the uh, Lexan, and that's always good to do with a very light coat at first. So I've let the three coats of metallic blue dry now. Now it's time to go ahead and remove the masking for the rear portion. And we're going to spray the entire body down now with that outlaw black to back the blue color to give it that deep dark blue color. And then that will coat the rear of the body with the black color that we want. All right, so there we have the body now. Um, now remember, we did leave that line of masking right there. That's gonna be our white stripe. We don't wanna take that off first because we wanna end with the lightest color when we're painting. So now we're gonna go ahead and shoot this thing with uh, the outlaw black on the entire body. It's going to back the blue, give it that deep dark blue color, and it will get the back of the F-150 Raptor with some nice black color. All right, so I've let the three coats of blue and the three coats of black dry now. Now it's time to take off that masking tape for the white stripe and get some white on this thing. So let's go ahead and take off the masking. You wanna make sure that everything is just pretty much dry to the touch on the underside before you start messing with any type of masking tape. All right, so there is the clear stripe now. We're gonna go ahead and throw some white on there, make this thing look a little bit better. All right, so we have the white stripe on. Only took two coats of the Sprint White just because it's a lighter color. Now, before we take off the protective film off the outside of the vehicle, the overspray film, I like to do kind of like a final step just to give my body's look a little bit different than the average RC body. Now, right up here, you'll notice we have some vents and whatnot. I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the overspray mask there. And also on the bed back here where that kind of corrugated bed is, and we're going to be spraying on some of this Tester's Dull Coat Finish. Now what this does is gives basically a flat look to the exterior of the body. Now it may not hold up in the long term, but it'll definitely look cool in the first uh, little while that you do have this body. So to complete this portion of it, I go ahead and take a good sharp hobby knife and just score very lightly the area that I want to peel off. And that's pretty easily done just by simply scoring across those lines. To the bed, we do the same process. So it's been about a day now since I painted up this F-150 Raptor from ProLane Racing and it has really turned out great. Now it's time to take off the overspray film and see the exact color of this rig. Mm -hmm. 
there it is, all done. Overspray film is off. You can really see the deep texture of all the different colors now. Of course, the metallic blue going into the Sprint white stripe. Of course, the shine of the Outlaw black. Now, remember, we did put on that dull coat finish, so you can see right there, very dull as far as the bed, and it kind of gives you that depth of the bed, although this is just a flat surface right here. We also dulled out the vents over here on the hood, just kind of gives it that different texture of look on those vents right there. Well, it's time to put some decals on this body and see how it turns out in the end. Your love is rated X. That means you're extra, extra. 